Hey guys, today I want to talk a little bit about prices in the Philippines. You know, a lot of us, when we come over here, the first thing we start watching is the prices in the stores and everything and see if, if there's a big difference between here and the United States. And to be honest with you, the first thing you notice, usually you walk into a McDonald's for a, for a quick meal or something like that when you first get to the Philippines or a Burger King or something like that and you look up at the, the prices and, and you, know, you see these things for like uh, 198 or 178 for for a Big Mac meal and that's like about a little over three bucks okay for a Big Mac meal now a small or medium meal you can which means you get a small french fries and a um, small coke or a medium coke and a small french fry because they, they right now is a, a french fry shortage over here um, but for three bucks you can get a, a Big Mac meal over here not that I'm a huge fan of McDonald's I do like going to McDonald's on occasion but you can go there you can get a good breakfast super cheap you know and you can get a, a decent breakfast like an egg mcmuffin or a sausage mcmuffin muffin or what have you and you can you know sit there and enjoy yourself and have a cup of coffee or whatever i'm not a big coffee drinker but you know if you like coffee they have the mcdonald's coffee there um we also have other stores here some stores seem to be a little bit more expensive um than others they, they still try to get that american price you know like uh crispy cream can be expensive but they do have a deal over here where if you get this card you get a, a special card over there. When you buy like a dozen donuts, you get six free, which makes it a really, really good value meal. Also, they have um, like like cards for some of the restaurants and stuff like that. Like I was mentioning before that you can get, you can get that B Bistro BFF card, and that's good for a lot of the Western restaurants over here, such as Chili's, which I'm right over here, right near Chili's here in Alabang Town Center. It's a really beautiful mall. It's a good place to just come sit and chill and kind of relax and stuff. And that's what I'm kind of doing today. I just want to take a, a couple days off. So I'm, I'm doing these like little short videos for you guys. Um, just because I thought it'd be kind of interesting. I'm here and I'm, I'm walking around looking at prices and stuff like that. And I just got, got done at Taco Bell here. Okay. And I had a good meal there and it was really reasonable. And I think back in the States, it's a little bit more expensive. The other day I went to KFC Chicken and I got a bucket of chicken and a couple of meals or something like that. And it cost me, I think it was cheaper than the United States. Now, granted, I've been out of the States for like five years, but when I look at the prices, the prices are still the same as what I used to pay back home five years ago. So, I mean, when I compare it to that, that's a pretty good deal, you know? But I'm walking around here in the mall and I'm walking through, I've been walking through some of the stores, some of the bookstores and stuff, and I notice a lot of the books are way cheaper than back home. They have a lot of sales going on, a lot of things going on, and they have a lot of sales like at Ace Hardware, places like that. So if you're looking for tools and stuff like that, they have a lot of big big sales. I'm walking around the clothing stores, there's always sales. Um, Alabang tends to be a little bit more expensive than some places around here. But I like this mall because it has the indoor-outdoor feel. It feels like you're in a, well, town center. That's why they call it town center. I mean, it feels like I'm sitting downtown somewhere in in Mexico or something like that. It just has that, that Mexican feel around here. Um, when you walk through some sections, it has like the, the, the roofs like in, like in Mexico, but it just, it's a beautiful place. I like coming here and just relaxing and chilling. And there's, you know, there's a lot of people walking around just enjoying the sun and everything. And it's, you know, if you ever get here or if you're here now and you want to go to a beautiful place, Go to Alabang Town Center Mall. It's right near Manila. It's not too far from Manila. So if you can catch a ride to Alabang, either go there or go to some of the other malls in Alabang and check them out because they get, they get the Evian Mall and they get the Alabang Town Center Mall. And those are the two best malls. Festival Mall is good. I like it. It's okay. It's got some good things there to, to check out too. It's got like a lot of fish and some like a cool um, thing where you go underground and you come out where these fish are and stuff like that and there's turtles in the water and everything. But if you walk around here, there's a lot to see. Around here we have Subway. Subway's very reasonable here for their subs. It's like, um, I think they're about $2, $2 on up, okay, for subs. For, and I think the six inch are a little bit cheaper. I'm not sure, I can't remember what the prices are exactly, but I know it's way cheaper than in the United States. It's a lot cheaper than in the, in the US. And the subs are just as good, and the salads are good. Uh, the veggies are all fresh and I'm not sure where they get their vegetables because it's really hard here finding um, stuff for a good salad here but I notice when I go into the restaurants here such as Chili's, um, Outback, um, 
Texas Roadhouse or TGI Fridays, I can always get a good salad there. And it's kind of a, a good thing to be able to have that because I like to have like a fresh salad every once in a while just to keep healthy and stuff. And I like to have fresh vegetables, um, fresh fruit and stuff. And some of these places you can get some really high end vegetables and fruit if you're looking in the supermarkets here because they tend to cater to the wealthier people here and the prices are still fairly reasonable here. Now, people are asking me, Steve, are you starting to see a lot of price changes here? I haven't really seen much of the price changes yet. I'm sure we're gonna be seeing those soon here because a lot of people are talking about there is inflation here for sure. I believe it's it's about 6% 6, 6 or 6.9% right now. Um, that's still lower than the US, which is good. So we're still getting some gains here. But remember, with the gains that we're getting off of the, the, the Forex, and the gains that we're gonna be getting off of Social Security and from the, the VA raises and, and for these these guys that are retired vets and stuff like that that are gonna be getting their COLA raises and anybody else also from my municipal pension, um, we're gonna be getting COLA raises and pretty good sized ones probably too. So I mean, with that said, all of us are gonna be doing well over here. But price-wise, if you're coming over here, don't worry, we're gonna be cheaper than the US as always. If we go up let's say 7% and the states are going up close to 9, 10, 15% or whatever, we're still gonna be lower. So whatever cola raises you get, we're still gonna be way cheaper than the US, always I think. And the thing over here is, is like I always stress on, on you guys, is the rents. You cannot rent a place here that you would ever consider expensive. I don't consider any of the rents down here expensive. I've seen people rent houses for like $500 and $600 and they get a beautiful house that back in the States would charge, they charge you three to four to $5,000 because it's furnished, number one. Number two, it's gated and it's got a pool, okay? So, you know, and I can afford something like that, but I like living where I live. I like being amongst the people. I like living near, near town. I don't like the gated community feel too much. There's a lot of gossip that goes around, around there from certain people in some of those gated communities. Everybody likes to you know, talk and stuff like that. And there's gossip that goes around in our section too, but at least I have a, we have a little bit of a tighter control on it a little bit sometimes. Because we kind of have our own, where I live, we're lucky because the four places down there are all people that are in our community. So it's almost like our own little gated community. And there's always somebody sitting outside. So when somebody comes down there, and also our dog box, so we always know when people are walking through or something. And if the dog knows that it's from some somebody from down below or whatever, the dog just you know lets them go through without barking. So it's always kind of nice. But anyway, guys, I want to talk a little bit about that. Just chat about it. Don't worry about prices over here, guys. The prices are good. Remember, rents make up that difference. Whatever you guys are paying back there in rents, sometimes a thousand, two thousand dollars for rents, somewhere in that range usually. I'll bet you, for most people, unless you live in some, you know, town out in Nevada or, 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 or some little one-horse town or something like that, the rents are going to be fairly expensive in the U.S. Well, over here, you can start at like sixty dollars on up and get a decent rent. If you're living in Alabang, you're probably going to pay, um, start at probably about three, I would say, for a studio or something like that. You're probably going to pay, I'm guessing, in a in a nice um, high-rise building with a pool, with um, an ex exercise equipment. And you probably got a guard downstairs to, to make sure that nobody gets in that you don't, you don't want to get in. So just remember that, guys. So if you're looking for good prices, even in Alabang, even in Alabang, which is a high-end, wealthy town, you can live really, really good. And this, if you want to have that Western feel, if you want to have that Western feel like you do back home, you know, and you want to get out of the States, but you want to have cheaper prices, Alabang might be the place for you. And remember, make sure you have insurance. I'm always going to stress that. Make sure you have health insurance over here and make sure you have some sort of other insurance, maybe SBLI or something like that, some sort of life insurance, whether it be term or whole life. I recommend whole life. And the reason why I recommend whole life is because you forget about the value in that plan. And after a while, it starts building up. And God forbid there's an emergency in the future and you find yourself penniless. Guess what you can do? You can go get a loan from that and you can take out the loan and you can pay off a debt or a healthcare issue or something like that because you know sometimes your insurance doesn't pick up everything but at least you'll have that money in an emergency god forbid something happens so be sure that you always have health insurance you also have have that that life insurance and like i said i recommend i usually don't like like a lot of people don't like whole life 
I do like it for that one reason alone because you forget about that you have it. You're making payments on it each month and you forget that you have it sitting there and it's like, you know, when you, and then all of a sudden it's like, wow, look, I got $5,000 in there. Mine has about $5,000 worth of value in there now. And that's quite a lot, you know what I mean? So God forbid I have an emergency or something, I can, I can go back and I can, I can grab that money and say, you know what, either I can cash it out or I can get a loan. And that's the best part about that. But, and also guys, insurance over here, way, way cheaper. Remember that too. Health insurance is, is way cheaper than back in the States. And you don't need as much of insurance because healthcare costs over here are way less than in the United States. Granted, healthcare is not as good here. But if you're in Alabang, this place, this is, this is it. This is, the, this is the cat's meow, as they say. You know, this is, the, this is the place to be. You know, and you want to be here because this is where they have good hospitals. This is where the, the lawyers, politicians, and movie actors live. You know, and there's nice people here. You get, you get the best of both worlds here. But, you know, you still get that Asian feel. You feel more like you're in, like, Hong Kong or Singapore or Japan or something like that. You know, you're, 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 you're in a place like that. And that's, that's what it gives you that good feeling that you're... You know, you're living in a nice place and your infrastructure is good and you're, you know, you have everything around here. If you're looking for a good woman, there's plenty of good women in, in Alabang. God bless, guys. Take care.